Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Ah, oh, man, you know, AB, another boxer, Adrian the Problem Broner, needs to find an opponent to replace Omar Figueroa. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Also, shout out to ESPN. Omar Figueroa has withdrawn from his upcoming world title elimination fight against Adrian Broner. The fight date was... April 21st, it was the main event for Showtime, and the source told ESPN, now this is very disappointing, as you know, Broner and Omar Figueroa, around the same time, it was it was announced that they had pending legal issues, right, Omar Figueroa had a DUI, Broner had some chick accuse him of groping her in the mall, but since that time, I've seen Broner pictures and videos of him looked like he was training hard hadn't really seen much from omar figueroa since the information leaked about him having a dui in january and according to espn the legal troubles have nothing to do with omar figueroa pulling out of this fight the reason he's pulling out of this main event has something to do with i guess a shoulder injury and they're looking for a replacement for adrian the problem broner Listen, man, this is very disappointing. This is PBC and Showtime. Don't get it twisted. They have the most fights on the books and quality fights. But they've had a couple recently um, injury setbacks. Sergey Lipinitz, that got pushed back. Hugo Centeno Jr. was supposed to actually fight against Jamal Charlo yesterday on the Deontay Wilder Luis Ortiz card which it looked like the Barclays was lit and Luis Ortiz gave a hell of a fight and hell of a count of himself against Deontay Wilder. And you know, the WBC champ did his thing. So that would have been a great card for Charlo or Centeno winner to showcase their abilities. Big card. Now we have Omar Figueroa pulling out with injury. So I don't know what is happening. I understand accidents may happen, but you know, I'm always weary when I hear about injuries. I'm just going to be real. Sometimes, especially guys who have struggled to make weight, like Omar Figueroa and stuff. Again, I'm not saying he's lying. I don't know. I don't have any um, background information on, on this injury or nothing. But you still got to be kind of weary, or at least me, just because it makes me wonder, is this really and truly the the real reason? You know what I mean? But I guess we have to take, take their word for it. Either way, this is bad because... This is an opportunity. Whether you like him or not, Adrian, the problem Broner, is still a big name in your division. Beating him would do wonders for Omar Figueroa. And me personally, as a fight fan, I was looking forward to the fight. I think it's a really good matchup. So, pretty disappointed here. The other reason I'm disappointed is because I can't think of really a better fight for Broner that realistically makes sense without someone pulling out of another fighter. You know what I'm saying? Like Regis Progre, he's already fighting Julius Ndongo, right? So it doesn't make sense for them to be fighting for a WBC belt or whatever and pull out of their fight to fight Broner. So I don't I don't think anything like that will happen. Uh, Amir Mom is already fighting Jose Ramirez. That's already a thing in March. Terrence Crawford left the division. Mikey Garcia has his own fight, March 10th. So, and Mike Garcia already beat Broner. So realistically, who is Broner gonna fight at 140? Again, I don't know if, if he, he's fought at 47 and a catch weight with Sean Porter, 144, 145. So I don't know if they'll do something like that, but it sucks for Broner too, cause it looked like he was training pretty hard for this particular fight. And stylistically, this is one of the best fights for Broner. You know what I mean? A guy who, who's not a world champion, brings the style of volume, kind of a Marcos Maidana type style. 
very, very disappointed with this news. I don't know if Omar Figueroa has to get it together outside of the ring if he's really hurt, but he's saying he has a shoulder injury and it looks like the fight's off courtesy of ESPN. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think really happened? Who should Broner fight? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hey, comment and subscribe to the next video's ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.